The world is going crazy for crossovers and Volkswagen is cashing in with this, the Volkswagen T-Roc. It sits below the Tiguan, but above the forthcoming T-Cross, making it essentially a golf-sized crossover. In terms of looks, it has that familiar Volkswagen grille with integrated headlights. A new feature are these LED daytime running lights, and they also double up as indicators. Now, being a crossover, it has more rugged looks, so that includes a raised ride height and harder wearing plastic around the bumper. That continues through to the wheel arches and into the side sills. You can, if you want, get roof rails and a contrasting roof colour. That rugged look continues around the back where you have this hard wearing plastic and a, a kind of a sporty look. It does have these fake exhausts, which, well, we don't really get, um, but it does have a big boot. It comes in at 445 litres, so that makes it a good bit bigger than a Golf. As you'd expect with a modern crossover, it has all the latest tech features. There's an all digital instrument display and a large touchscreen system. That features Android Auto and Apple CarPlay so that you can keep your phone connected on the move. And there are two USB chargers within easy reach to keep your device charged up. The center console is angled slightly towards the driver, which does help on the move. And the driving position is very comfortable with a supportive seat, plenty of adjustability with the steering wheel for reach and for angle. And there's also a nice convenient armrest to rest on. In the back space is okay, but those who are six foot and over may find it a bit cramped. There are some good features like this armrest, which has two cup holders. There's also a ski hatch for reaching into the boot. You've got two air vents in the middle and a 12 volt socket. The backs of the seats have pockets in them and they're a good sized door bins. The T-Rock, like most crossovers, does give you a raised driving position and that gives you good visibility on the road ahead. However, rearward vision isn't that great. Even though it's a little bit taller than a regular hatchback, the suspension actually does a great job. Ride quality is firm and it doesn't roll all that much in the corners. Steering also has a nice direct feel to it. The choice of engines for the T-Roc range from a one litre petrol up to a two litre diesel with all wheel drive. However, this 1.5 litre turbocharged petrol engine which has 150 horsepower, is the one that seems to suit the car best, especially when you match it with this six-speed manual. Now, for a four-cylinder engine, it's pretty responsive. It delivers good levels of fuel economy, and that's helped by the active cylinder technology. What that means is when the car is cruising, it can shut off two of its cylinders, so you just simply cruise along in two cylinders. You don't notice it happening, and as soon as you touch the throttle, it immediately fires back up on all four. So overall, the T-Roc is quite likeable. It's comfortable, it's quiet on the move, and in this guise, it's responsive and quite economical. It's certainly gonna make you think twice about getting a diesel. If you wanna join the crossover craze, the Volkswagen T-Roc ticks a lot of desirable boxes. It has the rugged looks, the raised driving position, and lots of in-car tech. However, with its high price, it is hard for us to recommend it over the more conventional Volkswagen Golf. If you want to know more about the T-Roc and all of its rivals, head over to completecar.ie for more reviews. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our YouTube channel.